Legend has it that Temptress ruled the sea and land many ages ago. The mortals were enticed by them in every way, until one witch made a potion to break the siren's enchantment over all mortals. So the temptresses fled back into the ocean, never to walk on land again. The old wise tale says that if you walk along Nymph Beach and run your hand along the water, you can feel the powers of the temptresses. And if you are truly worthy, they may appear to you and take you in as their own. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Temptress of the Sea. Look that we'll be doing today. We're starting off, we're gonna make the bikini top. And to make it, we are using an old bikini that I had. To make the bikini top, you'll need little pearl, some shells, and a hot glue gun. You want to first place down the shells and map out how you want to lay them. So then you wanna run the hot glue gun along the edges of the back of the shell and then firmly place them down onto the bikini top and press. And you just want to continue to do this until all your shells are glued down. For the pearls, you want to do the exact same thing. Just put a little bit of glue on the back and then press it down firmly. Then taking this small string of pearls, I ran glue along the back of it and then pressed it and put it in the middle just so the middle could have something because it was a little bare. Now moving on to the eye look, I'm taking this blue shade and I'm putting it on the top portion of the eye and then I am blending it out. Then I'm taking a ocean blue shade which is just a little bit lighter than the initial shade and we are placing that directly in the crease right below where we put the first color and tapping it. Cut the crease, I want it to mimic a wave so I'm cutting the crease in a wave like shape just like a little ripple. For the lid I'm taking this ice pigment and we're putting that onto the lid and just blending that and then we're taking the first blue shade and we are tapping it on the outer edge so we can blend the pigment and the outer corner together. With the open space at the top, I wanted to mimic a wave-like patterns that was on my background. So I'm using a white water activated paint and a tiny brush and then I'm going in and just drawing some little squiggly lines. Now we're gonna do that to the other eye. To make our waves, I'm sketching it out first with a blue eyeliner and I'm just looking at a reference photo for this one. The reference photo is it has a lot of wigglies and swoops up and down. You can look at your own reference photo to see what type of wave that you want to do. There's hundreds of reference photos for this. Now to draw the body of our fish. We have two koi fish in the middle so I'm just roughly sketching it out. Emphasis on rough. Making sure that it is lined up directly and we're good to go. Now going in with a blue water activated paint and then I'm blending that down. I'll be taking a green water activated paint for the bottom portion of the body. And then we move into a yellow water activated paint and we are just blending that and dragging it down. Then we're using the fan brush and the fan brush really helps to blend things out and diffuse the colors. Next I'm taking a orange water activated paint. We're just taking the brush and just flicking it downwards, just adding some strokes in there. This doesn't have to be precise. Um, we're just laying colors down and mapping them out and blending them as of now. After the orange, we take a red water activated paint and then we go into a purple water activated paint and I made this by mixing a red and blue so if you don't have the colors that you want you can always just form a new color. So I took the purple water activated paint I went in to make the pale part of it. Now going in with a blue cream paint. I'm just going over where we put the first blue shade just to make it a little bit more opaque. And I take some orange and just start flicking it down. So we wanted to flick it down just to add a little bit more detail. And speaking of detail, we're going in with a white water activated paint and we are just flicking it along the tail. Going up to the fin, we're taking the white water activated paint and just sketching it out and drawing and filling it in. Then immediately we go over it with a a aqua water activated paint. Go over that aqua paint with a little bit of green and a little bit of blue. 
Next, we're taking an orange and we are flicking that down and adding a little bit more color. And then next to the orange, we're taking the red and then blending it out again with the fan brush. So really it's the same process over and over. We're just layering colors over the top of each other and then we're blending them. Now that we have the red, I'm taking that purple color again and filling in the bottom portion of the tail, going in with some blue just to add a little bit of accent mark. And I decided to take the blue and and outline the entire tail. Now we get to work on our other fish. The first fish took the longest, but this one is easier, I promise. <laughs> Taking an orange water activated paint, we just draw in the body, map it out, and fill it in. Then we take a red water activated paint and we fill in the bottom of the body. And with the purple, we're gonna start working on the second fish's tail. So we're just fanning it up and working that into the blue water activated paint. Next, we're taking the green and drawing an outline to where I want that tail to stop. We're just laying down that shape and filling that green color in. And with the aqua color, we fill in the little gaps that we see skin, we're gonna fill that in with the aqua color. And with the dark blue shade, we're gonna add some flicks in. Flick your brush like we've been doing and add some detail here and there. Now that we have the flicks of blue, we're gonna take the aqua and add some more detail. While I have the aqua shade on the brush, I'm just taking that both of the fish. So I'm gonna go back to the first one and just flick some color in along the body and along the tail. Now to highlight, we're taking the white water activated paint and adding some highlights in. You always want to add highlights to your work because it is what makes your work pop. Now I'm working on the fin for the first fish and I'm taking the aqua color and just flicking that down. And then along with that aqua color, I'm going back into the white and adding some more little flicks in. Really trying to give it that wispy, feathery look that koi fish have. And we're working on the other fish's fin, taking the red water activated paint and filling it in. Now to give our fish some personality and life, we're going in and drawing eyeballs for them so they're not just blobs of color. Using the stippling motion, I went in with a white water activated paint and just created some dots along the, along the fish's body. I'm going in with the red paint and just outlining where we drew the eyeballs and drawing little circles around them. And then the empty gap in between, I'm taking the white paint and just creating a little bit of highlight. I'm also taking the white paint to add some highlights along the body and the fin. While I have that white on the brush, I'm just gonna go into the tail and make some more highlights along there. So just making little swoops with your brush. And for the blue fish, I'm just doing the same thing. So mapping it out with that white shade, mapping out the body, and then going in and dotting. I also went in with the red paint to just add some more texture and dots on the red fish. To paint the rest of the body, I'm using a red cream paint. So I put this paint down with a brush and then I go in immediately with a sponge and blend it out. Next, we take a blue, place it down, and then blend it out with the sponge. Just making sure that it is blended seamlessly. Then I went in with a green cream paint on the outside portion of the arm and I brought that up along the show. The green cream paint wasn't as opaque as I wanted it to be so I went in with a green water activated paint. Over top of that green water activated paint, I am taking the aqua color and blending that on top of it and then along the sides of my shoulder. The aqua paint, we're gonna go in and make tiny little waves. To make these waves, you wanna do the same technique that we've been doing. You just want to swoop your brush just continue to make little swoops with the brush and then connect them on top in the little triangle now these waves were giving me a hard time they weren't looking the way that I wanted them to look all right uh, but in the next clips I'm gonna be looking really sad because I was and I couldn't edit it out or else I would have lost some quality going in to make our waves we drew the rough sketch I'm just going over it with the aqua paint so I had a little breakdown while I was doing the baby waves, but once I started to do the big waves, it really came together. So if you ever have a time where you're not feeling a look, just stick with it, push through, because it's just one moment you do one thing and then everything just clicks.
So then taking a blue water activated paint, I'm going in and filling in where I want the waves to be coming over. So when the waves are crashing from the bottom, it will be darker. And as it crashes over, it will get lighter. Go over the first blue paint with a blue cream paint because again, it wasn't as opaque. You can cut out the water activated paint, but it's just a little bit easier to get in between the grooves with it. So that's why I used it, but cut that step out because it was just taking a little bit too long. Now taking a white cream paint, we're just gonna go in and fill in all the gaps that we have left. Now that we've put a cream paint down, we wanna go over it with a translucent powder so that way it doesn't move, it doesn't smudge or crease or anything like that. Now we're gonna do that to the other side. Going into foundation, I'm quickly putting some on, blending it out in with concealer. The concealer will be under our eyes, on our nose, forehead, and chin. And I'm using a sponge to blend this out as well. Then we go into bronzer. Honestly, I could have skipped this step because I ended up wiping it off anyway. And then the part above my lip, I wanted to emphasize that. I went in heavy with the blush because I wanted it to show, so I ran that along my cheeks and along my nose. For highlight, I'm using my normal highlight, but then I take that ice pigment that we used in the beginning and pop it onto the cheek. I also put that highlight cocktail on the tip of my nose and on the bridge. Ice pigment and running it along my lips. Coming back to the under eye, I'm taking that first blue pigment, running it along my eye, but leaving a little gap in between. I'm taking the ice pigment and filling in that gap and then running it along my waterline. Then on an angled liner brush, I'm cleaning up where that pigment got a little bit out of hand. For the side of my face, it was looking a little bit bare, so I'm gonna draw another wave on there using the aqua paint and the white cream paint and filling it in with the white cream paint. This is where I said like I didn't have to put the foundation on that side or the bronzer because I ended up wiping it off. I just take that cream paint and blend it all the way down the neck and then I took the blue cream paint and started filling in where any gaps were and blending it in with the white paint. So I thought I wanted to take the white paint all the way across my neck, but I decided not to do that. So I just blended some of the blue with the white cream paint on one side. For the other side, I wanted to start putting bubbles. I decided to do one side heavier and the other side a little bit more light. I started to put the bubbles using a white water activated paint. Just go in and draw some circles. Also with the white paint, I'm going into making little dots as if they were splashes of water. Then taking the blue eyeliner that we used the first time on the lid, I'm going in and shading one side of the bubbles and leaving the other side completely light. Now that we've got our body painting done, we're missing something. Pop on our wig and lashes. Using the NYX White Liner and Blanc, coating my bottom lashes and using a white water activated paint, I'm coating the top, not the entire false lash but just the top. For the lips I'm taking a blue lipstick then taking that ice pigment and going over top to create this nice ombre effect. Now for the piece of resistance we got our crown because every temptress needs a crown. She's the ruler of the sea. That's it guys. That is the look. That's all. So if you like this look please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below telling me your thoughts and until next time, bye!